What's up guys, Lord Rylick here, back again with Card Fight Vanguard Zero. I just finished re-rolling and uh, after just one day of playing, I'm up to grade 15 out of 30 already. So you can grind those grades pretty quick if you just hit out those missions really hard. I got another pack opening, it's going to be about 25 packs today um, for everything that I've saved up. But I need some cards, so I decided to do a video while I'm doing it as well. And I did figure out the summoning animations too. If it stays blue, it's you got nothing. If it turns gold, you get a couple double R's. And if it turns purple, you got at least one triple R out of that 10 pack. And then also go through some gameplay and look at some basics. But I'm far from a pro with this game, but I'm definitely enjoying it. So let's jump in to a little friend fight here. And the reason you want to grind your grade so quick, you want to get the grade 12 as fast as possible. And I'll show you why in a second here. So if you see this over here, it says verse character fight. This is how you grind for materials to craft cards. So you're not, so if you're getting super screwed by RNG luck, you can actually grind and for materials and craft the card from the crafting system. And that's any card in the entire game right now. So that's super awesome. Like if you want another seal dragon, you can just craft one. But it costs quite a bit. So that's why you want to unlock grade 12 as fast as possible because you come in here and you fight somebody. So click on them, click confirm. And click whichever one you want, but it's got to be three-starred. So I'm going to click on the easy one that I've already three-starred. Now you can quick fight. Now all it costs is stamina, and you get a crap load of stamina through the just playing the game. So I did it times 10 here. <clears throat> I'm definitely trying to get my red crafting materials. And I need like 400 of these little ones for Seal Dragon. So it's going to be a lot of quick fights. Now, the cool thing about quick fights is I believe it also takes the friendship level up still. Maybe not. Let's see. Yes, it does. Nice. Not nearly as much as actually dueling them, but it still gives you a little something. All right. So that's the best way to grind is to get the little grade 12 and then quick fight everybody three star on once and then quick fight for the grind for the crafting materials that you need. We'll go back. And we can also do an actual fight, too, if we wanted to. So we'll go here, we'll confirm. We can do easy. And go through a little play, so we'll actually play it. And the awesome thing about this is you can select whatever deck you want to use. But uh, this is just a pre-made deck here. But there's always an auto-fight feature, too. So as you're going through, you can just tap auto-fight, and it'll blow through pretty quick. If you go into your settings and turn off all animations, it's going to make the duels even faster. For if you're just grinding out levels or if you're just grinding out crafting materials. That way you don't have to see all the summoning animations. Pretty sure I left mine on because I thought they were cool. But we'll see. We're going to go through here real quick. It's, again, it's on auto fight. So we're going to watch them. It's a good way to learn if you're not too sure how to play. Or if you just built a new deck and you're not really entirely sure how to play it. You can throw it on auto duel and see what your character does in the AI. Learn from it. Or realize they misplayed a lot and then... Learn from that as well. We go through. We're gonna go into Iron Tail Dragon. Now, one thing I really like about this is it's really crisp. Like putting cards on the field, battling and attacking. It's just really fluid, really nice. And I really like the way it's set up. I'm definitely gonna be a big player of this game. See so many animations around. There's Blaster Blader. Two of them. That <laughs> looks like IT might might uh, mess me up here. It's okay. So I run out of duel here to learn. <clears throat> That's kind of crappy. I hate wasting crits on defense. That sucks. So with the trigger effects, when you get crit, you actually do double damage. So you can do two damage instead of just one. But when you waste it in defense, you get nothing. So I mean, you get critical defense, but. If it's their last card that's attacking you, it doesn't really matter. It could save you, potentially. But for me, it was just wasted. And he's going into his uh, grade 3 already. <clears throat> Looks like Aichi uh, might mess me up here, guys. But again, this deck with... This Kagro deck is just a auto-made deck. I didn't have enough cards yet to build the one that I wanted to. So, hey, look, another wasted crit defense. That's cool. Looks like I am just one attack off. Let's see. One of the Vortex Dragon. Vortex got some sweet effects. I won't have enough to blast to use his 
second ability, which gets three rid of the three rear guards on the opponent's side. But hopefully I could draw another crit here while I'm attacking his uh, vanguard. Nope. But I did draw a heal. Heal is nice. Takes off a damage. And I got an attack boost, which is okay too. But it wasn't a crit. If I would have drawn one of those crits, this duel would have been over. That's the crazy thing about that I really like about trigger effects. Is it's just straight the heart of the cards, man. That is like the trigger effects completely random. You put them in your deck, you choose what they are, but drawing them is just straight heart of the cards. It's straight luck. I was playing a rank duel earlier today and I just heart of the card at a heal and it worked out perfect right at the end. I did not even think I thought the chances of that happening were so low, so slim. But it was my last one. I was about to die. Fing flipped a heal. So it can happen, and it's pretty awesome when it does. And this is going to be the end right here, unless he's got a PG, which I highly doubt the easy version does. Yep, it's over. Cool. So you win. You get the grind materials. And we'll see. It looks like I might be. There we go. I was going to say, it looks like it was uh, glitching out for a second. Okay, a little bit of materials. Get a little bit of my VP, which we're aiming to get up to like 1.3 million VP to end the season. Get the maximum rewards. I believe that maximum reward is 10 packs. Okay, let's get out of here. So that's some basic gameplay. Uh, auto duel, hit gr grade 12 to quick fight everybody for grind materials. Um, let's see what the mission got here in case there's like another uh, pack. Well, that's another... Exchange voucher. You need 10 ticket vouchers to turn into one actual gotcha ticket. So we'll go in here and we'll do our draws now. So I got 16 plus 1,000 gems, so it would be 26 here. And then again, uh, with the basic gameplay, uh, hit grade 12, grind out materials, craft the cards you need. You don't need to put any money into this game yet unless you really want to. Unless you really want to support the game and throw your money at it, that's totally fine. But you do not need to. All right. So I figured out the animations. If it's not purple, we're just going to skip past it. So let's go. So blue means nothing. Gold means are ours. And purple. That is sick. Purple. All right, let's go. That means we've got a triple R somewhere in here. Again, I'm looking for a seal dragon. I'm trying to build a good Kagura deck. Bing. Let's go. Let's see what we can get. Next. Next. Oop. No, oh, okay. And again, I am very new to the game, so I don't know every card by heart or by name. Oh, baby. It is not Seal Dragon, but I will take it. Oh. Can't remember his name, but I have used it before. And it, Ooh, what is that? What is that? All right, let's get there. Oh, baby, another triple R. Oh, that's two in one 10 pack. Let's go. Maybe we'll get lucky and get another one. We'll see if we have a sealed dragon somewhere in here because that would just make my day. Oh, my God, no way. All right, let's go. Ching, ching, skip it, and boom. Ooh, another uh, brutal jack. Nice. Nice. It's not good for the deck I'm making, but it is a good card. Let's go, pack seven. Oh, baby, no way, another triple R. Whoo, I did it right. I stopped in the reroll on this one. Let's go. Couple packs left. Whew, not there. A lot of little foils, though. I'm not even going to be mad if I don't get any more in this 10-pack. Boom. And can we? No, okay. It's okay. I got a couple dragons out of here. One, two, three, four. Four triple R's out of that 10 pack. Let's go take a look. Boom. King of Knights, Alfred. Awesome. This unit cannot be boosted. During your turn, this unit gets plus 2,000 for each of your rear guards. That is way better than a boost. Blast three to call a grade two or less card from your deck. Awesome. Let's go back, check out the next one. This one I've used, and it looks beautiful. Soul Saver Dragon. So, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, it gets plus 3,000 until end of battle. 
Soul Blast 4 to have three of your rear guard get plus 5,000. That is sick. Let's see, I have already have another I already have one of her battle sister Coco. When in place, look at the top card of your deck and put it on the top or bottom of your deck. That is sick to plan out your crits and triggers. Uh, Brutal Jack, I have another one of him, but restraint, he can't attack. Blast one to lose restraint. And then when this unit is boosted, it gets plus five thousand to the end of attack. So that is sick. Uh let's get out of here. Let's do some more pulls. Oh man, I can't believe it. Four SRs or four triple R's. A little bit of Duel Link's coming out of me there. All right, let's hit this last six, and we got all the gems. Let's go. Let's see what we get. Remember, blue means nothing. Gold means double R. And purple means triple R, baby. Let's do this. <sighs> oh, baby, another. Whew. Soul Saver Dragon. Let's go. Let's see if I can get lucky. It's only six packs on this one. But we'll see. That's already one triple R out of a six pack. Let's do this. I'm waiting. Can we do it? A couple more packs to go. Come on. Let's go. Oh. All right. Heart of the cards. Let's go. One more pack. Let's go. Let's do it. Stand up, my vanguard. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's okay. We're gotten super lucky. We got five triple R's out of 16 packs. That's ridiculous. Boom. So this is our second copy of Soul Saver Dragon. He is super sick. I like him a lot. All right. Now with gems, we'll do our last 10 pack. And let's get out of here. All right. Remember, blue means nothing. Gold means something. Purple means triple R. Let's go. Something. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I can't complain, though. And you still can get a triple R. It can still critical on one of these. It just means that it's not uh, it's not likely. But getting about six triple R's out of 20 packs is, is beautiful. I'll take it. That is awesome. Not a single seal, but that's okay. I'll just grind for the craft materials, and I'll make them. Seal is definitely a four of in a deck. You want four of them in your... Uh, if you're making a deck about them, you want four of them in there. Can we still see a critical? A few packs left. Let's go. Come on. Can we crit? Let's go. Pack seven. Oof. Got a PG. That's good. Perfect guard. Ping. Might not be getting a lot of triple R's, but I am definitely getting some cards that I'm going to need and use in my decks, which is awesome. Because that's why I'm doing this anyways. Boom. Because I realized that my deck really started to kind of, well, all the starter ones on the auto decks really started to fade out. Starting to get kind of weak. I need to bolster my decks with some cards. Okay, last pack. Can we crit anywhere in here? And no, that's okay. We ended up getting about six triple R's out of 26 packs or so, which is really not bad. A lot of R's, double R's here, but they're all new. So I got a lot of new ones. So I'm bolstering my uh, decks up a lot with those. So I'll be able to build at least a somewhat decent deck. And I think that'll be it for the video today, guys. Okay, cool. So I did 26 pack draws, got six triple R's. I'm going to start building my decks up and I'm going to start doing some ranked matches. I'm going to do some videos of those ranked matches too. So we'll do some ranked matches together. Let's go collect our missions here. Should be achievements for yeah, drawing 30 different Royal, 30 different Kagero. Cool. And let's see, was that, let's see if that was enough to get me a, another pack. Then I'll just draw it right now while on video. But if not, I'll just save them. And when I get about 10, I can do another video real quick. Uh, nope. Okay. Again, guys, that's going to do it. Uh, my name is Lord Rylick. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll have some ranked videos coming soon after I build up my deck. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.